both your election and my lifetime. Most important election, perhaps in the history of our country. This is the most important election of our lifetimes. This is the most important election, maybe in the history of our country. Tuesday, your vote is going to save our country. Most important election we've ever had. This election is the most important one you've ever voted in. This is the most important election in our lifetimes, no matter what generation you come from. The most important election of our lifetime begins tomorrow. There are only a few months left before the most important election in our lifetime. This year's election is quite possibly the most important election of our lifetime. What motivated you to say that this is the election of our lifetime? Last week, you called this election the most important of your lifetime. This is uh, the most important election of our lifetime. This is the biggest election since 1860, I believe. I think all of us are here tonight because we agree with Callista's statement that this is the most important election of our lifetime. This is the most important election of our lifetime. This is the most important election of our times. Look, this is the most important election certainly in my lifetime. This is the most important election in our lifetimes. This November's elections are more important than any I can remember in my lifetime, and that includes when I was on the ballot. This is the most important election of all our lifetimes. And I suppose every time there was an election, uh, politicians said this is the most important election we've ever had. Politicians say every time, uh, this is the most important election. This one's really that important. The uh, 2018 election was the most important election of our lives, but the real election is the next one. This is the most important election of our lifetime. This will be maybe the most important election that our country's ever had. When you run for president, you always come and tell big crowds like this, this is the most important election, don't you? You hear that. And we can't let them change the most important election in our lifetime. You shared that you think this is the most important election of your lifetime. I certainly think it's the most important election of my lifetime. Just 39 days left in the most important election in our lifetimes. There are just 14 days. There are 11 days out. Nine days. There are just eight days left. There are only now seven days left in the most important election of our lifetimes. This is the most important election you've ever voted in your entire life. And this is the most important election, I believe, of our lifetime. Days You're and right. on. And you do the right thing. My fellow Americans, this is the most important election of our lifetime. For that reason, ladies and gentlemen, the election of 2004 is one of the most important, not just in our lives, but in our history. But I do make a pledge that in the next 10 days, when we're asking the American people to make one of the most important decisions in their lifetime, because I think this election is one of the most vital in the history of America. I think in many ways this election is more important than any since 1932. This is uh, certainly the most important election in my lifetime. Uh, you are aware that there's a pretty intense campaign going on right now. And the reason uh, for that is because the choice that we face this November could not be bigger, could not be more significant. In some ways, it's more important than 2008. This is the most important election in the history of our country. Gosh, it just gets me right there every single time. Now, <laughs> I, I have great respect for Zombie Farmer. I, I think he's a good man. I think he's a good-hearted man, a good family man. I don't know him personally, but I do... Um, pay attention to him on, uh, because he's got his own YouTube channel, Zombie Farmer. And he just posted this um, video today within the past 20 minutes of making this video uh, with the, the, the header, Warning Preppers. Alright. I, I just got extremely disappointed when I heard this come out of his mouth. The purge of America. 
the purge of our way of life, our liberty, our happiness, our livelihoods. Is it? Folks, this is probably one of the most important elections I know of my lifetime, and I'm sure a lot of y'all's lifetime as well. Now, just regurgitating that line, the most important election of our lifetime. You know, this is the same line that these lying fucking politicians have been telling us all our lives. And I, you know... And you're regurgitating the same bullshit that they're trying to push onto us all over. I'm going to tell you something, man. I think it's time for a true change in this country and worldwide. See, the definition of anarchy is that no one is your master and no one is your slave. When you vote for a president or politician of any kind, you're basically voting for a ruler to rule over you, me, and everybody else, no matter if we consent to their rule. They will rule and be the masters of all of us because you have given them consent to do so when you vote. And that, that rulership is forced at the barrel of a gun on everybody, no matter if you agree with it or not. See, this, this Team Red, Team Blue bullshit is nothing but a fiction. This left-right paradigm crap is nothing but a lie. True anarchy is freedom and liberty. The thing is, man, what we need in this on this planet is to eradicate tyranny of all forms. All forms of communism, socialism, liberalism, and all that crap which uses force to rule over and be the masters of all of us. We as a people do not need to be governed by a government. We as people can govern ourselves. Now, some people say, oh, uh, you, you know, we can't, we, you know, people just can't govern themselves, blah, blah, blah. If you do not believe that just individual people, including yourself, think about it. Do you need to be governed? Do you need to have some ruler calling himself the president or anything like that telling you how to live? If you... Don't think that individual people can govern themselves. What makes you think that a select few can govern over millions? Anarchy is the only true freedom and liberty. And I personally want freedom liberty, the pursuit of happiness, property, and I want to have my sovereignty that I was born with, given to me by God, and forcefully coerced away from me at birth using the birth certificate. Because right now, when you vote, you're just basically voting for another master to rule over you. In our entire lives, 
government officials have been extorting the earnings of our labor. They have been lying to us. They have been stealing our property. They have been killing us in the name of public health and safety. For centuries, all forms of government have done nothing but just enslave the people for centuries. Why do you want this to continue? Why do you think that you need to have some president or some ruler, like some monarchy, some king, to tell you how to live? Because that's what you're doing. You're giving your consent for them to do whatever the hell they want and tell you how to live. It's the reason why we're in this situation now. This is not how this country was founded. This is not what the colonists that started this country wanted. They all left oppressive, tyrannical, communist countries to come here and be free. But yet, right now, this system that we live in, and getting worse and worse day by day, is getting closer and closer to communism and tyranny at every level. Even though we have the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Declaration of Independence, it has been flat out ignored for over a hundred years. Our rights that are given to us by God, not by government, have been forced away from us at the point of a fucking gun. It's time to take it back. It's time to stand up. It's time to take it back for ourselves. You cannot rely on some president or whoever's in that damn job to do it for you. Because they've never done it all our lives. What makes you think they're going to change? What makes you think it's going to get any better? Because it has been getting worse every election. Every single election it's been getting worse. With all due respect, Zombie Farmer, if you happen to be watching this, I do respect you as a family man, as a good-hearted man, a God-loving man. But man, I'm going to tell you, you got to stop believing their lies. You've got to stop believing the lie. It's the 1122 Wingnut Radio. Back out.